Hey, who's your new friend? I'm not new. I'm Daniel. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and you talk about a beautiful day. This is, first off, I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Uh, we had a wonderful time. Great time with friends and family. Christmas, I don't know how many times we Christmased and how many gifts we opened, but we did all the things and it was a great time. Um, and by the way, Emily's Christmas message, when Emily shared the Christmas story, I looked today, it had 110,000 views on YouTube and about 70,000 on Facebook. So that's that 180,000 people heard the story of the birth of Jesus through our YouTube channel in a couple days. How incredible is that? That is just, that blows my mind. But anyways, um, I've got a lot of chores to get done today. It is amazing, but we've got some good friends that want to go riding. So I've got the trailer hooked up. I'm going to, I got to use the Polaris Razor a little bit this morning. We're going to load the Razor up and go to Crossbar this evening, I believe is the plan crossbar off-road park here locally it's actually in davis i'm telling you it's like five or six thousand acres you've seen us ride there a couple times i'm telling you it is it's crazy this place is awesome but i've got to get all my chores done here first the goats need some hay i got to fill up a deer feeder i want to show you guys um some pictures so i uh started i bought a, a protein feeder for my deer to feed a little bit more year round more than just a spinner that throws out corn something to actually help the deer with some nutrition and i've had it out for several weeks now since well i think i bought that deer feeder on black friday a black friday sale so it's been a little while but we're getting a ton of pictures got some good bucks hanging around old limpy gimpy's there every stinking night he's the most nocturnal deer i've ever seen but i'll show him to you he's just crazy looking with his three good legs but uh anyways got to get busy get the chores done and then we're probably going I don't know, sometime after lunch, probably load up and uh, go do some riding. I think it's supposed to get a little cloudy and overcast, but no chance of rain right now. So anyways, time to get busy, get the chores done, and then go play on the razor. Oh, come on. This razor is a lot of fun to play on. Not much for working on but the Kubota sidekick's still in the shop, so it's gonna work for today. So as I said earlier, this is a boss buck feeder that I bought from Academy Sporting Goods online. Or I didn't buy it online, I bought it in the store on Black Friday. And uh, it holds about 250 pounds of feed. And there's a lot of different feeds you can put in here. But what I'm using right now is a 20% protein. It's called Buck Seduction. 20% protein, it's a like a 5 8 looks like creep feed for cattle. I don't know if you guys can read that. So 20% protein, 7% fat. I'm sorry, 4% fat, 7% fiber. Where if we were just feeding corn, whole corn, you're looking at probably four to six percent protein, something like that. So a lot better for the deer. It's not like we're trying to get them through a hard winter this year though. I mean, if it was really cold, they'd be hammering on this, but it holds 250 pounds. I filled it up one time since Black Friday. So what's that, the day after Thanksgiving? So over a month, not too bad. only have a hundred pounds today and have to get, get some more feed but this will hold them over for a little while until we can get some more i'm gonna try a few different feed blends options to see what they like the best but uh limpy gimpy loves this stuff reason I have a toe strap on there if you missed the first video is just so that the wild hogs don't knock this thing over it'll stand on its own just fine but with big pigs bumping on it 
Cause I'll knock it over and tear it up. All the animals are fed. They've all got hay. I fed the heifers and uh, everybody's in good shape. Still on baby watch. No baby goats. I think the vet was wrong on our uh, our older uh, mini Hereford cow. She was supposed to have a calf in December. You might have missed that. Hopefully we have a calf coming in January. Miss thing here. Big belly. Still no baby on her front. But uh, we'll have babies eventually, I promise. So I'm gonna go in and have some lunch and then uh, load up the, the Polaris Razor and take off towards Crossbar. And I know, listen, I, we bought that Razor last year as a family hobby, just something to do together. And we have had so much fun. That machine is incredible at its capabilities and what it can do. Um, Crossbar Off-Road Park in Davis, Oklahoma. You can look them up online, go to their Facebook page, whatever. If you're into the side-by-side -side UTV trail riding world, you've got to check this place out. We're blessed that it's only like 15 miles from our house, but there are miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles of trails. And I know a lot of people worry about what those UTVs, what those side-by-sides do to the, the landscape and they tear up the roads, they tear up the trails and make mud holes and all that. But I'm telling you, that whatever five, 6,000 acres out there in the mountains is nothing but a solid rock hill covered with cedar trees. It's owned by the city of Davis and they use it to make a ton of money. It's a huge economic um, benefit to our area. People come in from all over. They have huge races, ultra fours and all kinds of off-road UTV side-by-side races and stuff. It's kind of a booming little thing and 
growing in popularity and it brings a lot of people in with campers and people coming into hotels and restaurants and all that it brings a lot of money to our area so they're actually taking what what is just a rugged terrain that's really not used for anything else and making it something awesome um, so you need to check out crossbar off-road park if you're into the whole atv utv side-by-side -side world it's uh it's got trails of all levels. You can go out there and just trail ride easy trails all the way up to the most difficult rock crawling stuff that's brutal on a machine. But once you learn how to drive and learn how to navigate those rocks and ditches and trails that they're just the the skill level that you can acquire out there is crazy. And it's good for side by side UTVs, Jeeps. Well, you see all kinds of stuff out there. People do all kinds of stuff. So anyways, I'm going to go have some lunch and load up the razor and head to the mountains. That hoodie does not have my name on it. I don't care. <laughs> I like green shirts. Hey, who's your new friend? I'm not new. I'm Daniel. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Jacoby. That's not the Jacoby I know. Same. At least you're wearing one of my hats. My own kid won't even wear my stuff. So you know it's Kobe. <laughs> Than your what? Are you jealous? I no. I need to get you one. No, I, I am <laughs> definitely not jealous. Oh, you should be. Who wears this? Richie. Traders. What? What like y'all were riding with me? I, I like more dangerous. More dangerous. Yeah. yeah. You know, well, you know old risky Tracy. Stuff? Hmm. Huh? Richie's been talking his dad into risky stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all right well good luck hope, hope y'all get all uh muddy i don't know where you're gonna find any mud at it hadn't rained in forever but we ride at dawn no. Because it's like one. <laughs> That's what we ought to take up the mountain. Let's take that instead. No. It'll never look anywhere near as tense on video as it does in person. But uh, this is a pretty solid climb right here. Um, crossbar solid rock. This place out here is nothing but rocks. And it is rough, but it's impressive what a uh, 
machine can do once you learn how to drive it. All right, on to the next one. in the road. Got a tree walking the drive there. What's up, Kobe?
Yeah, you're perfect right there. You're gonna have a big bump once you drop right here. You'll have a big hit right here when you drop off that little ledge. Break it hard right there. There you go. Got my feet wet. <laughs> <laughs>